Hello and welcome to episode 144 of Bobo Scrub Arty Records. Hey, yeah. So, hmm, it's getting on in the day. Thought I'd try and get a couple more episodes recorded. I think I have time. So, yes, going to start off today in this tier nine, the 212A. Not going to run any premium consumables because we're trying to save up for the uh, the M40, M43. I need 2.7 million to pick it up and I think we might have a crew or some crew for it already so that would be fun yeah so we'll start off in this Russian tier 9 see what we can do and then maybe we'll check out some of the other Russian artillery as well if we get time so yeah mm -hmm. Himmelsdorf really 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 game Himmelsdorf eh mm. okay so Yes. What are we going to do? Now, could sit back here and I'll tell you what we can do. We can just keep an eye on this. Yeah, we knew people would go down there. Let's see if one of the artillery decides to sit here. Oh, there's only one. So, you might decide to sit around this area, you see. You might know where we are as well though, that's the problem. If we keep an eye on this bit, maybe we can get the hull locked down. Okay, going to need to be careful of that western flank then. Trying to keep one eye on the map. Don't know if... The, the artillery is either going to sit here, he's going to go up to the edge of the hill always going to go over this way now if we have a look to see if there's any broken things doesn't look like it so we might have managed to get round without destroying things I don't we can't get no we're never going to get a shot on something there okie dokie Let's see if we can try and support the hill then. We're gonna have to be careful of that bat chap that's um that's around the back there. Oh dear, we've got an E75 coming up as well. Okay, we're gonna have to shift soon. Let's see if we can get one shell off. Potentially. We really can't get a shot from here, can we? No. Okay, let's get moving. Unless uh, might be able to get shot down on that waffle. Possibly he sees us. Okay, we managed that was scary. We managed to get a shot on him without him getting a shot back at us. That's just mental. Right. We are kind of wedged. We might be able to help this guy. Let's see if we can use the overhead view. Maybe. Possibly. We're going to have been spotted. Oh, that went right over his head. Never mind. Let's see if we can stay angled. It's firing APCR at us. That's interesting. Mm, we're not going to get the backs up in time, though. No. <laughs> crew's not really, really designed to... Uh, uh, their, their crew skills and things are not really repairs. They're more um, kind of helping the reload times and things. Mm. Okay. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> we'll leave that there then, yeah. So, yes, unsurprisingly, that was a defeat. Uh, we managed to fire the two shots. We got one on that waffle. I have no idea how. And then the unaimed shotgun that I did missed terribly. So maybe we should have moved rather than, you know, should have, could have, would have, but didn't. <laughs> so not very much XP there, and we did make a loss. Um, some of our guys didn't do too badly, but they managed to 
they just wiped the floor, really. That was quite a quick match. Mm. OK, Himmelsdorf, meh, you know, yeah, Himmels Milf. Right, let's try the, uh, the S51. I really am not keen on this. I don't know why people like it so much. Um, maybe I should try using some of these uh, armour-piercing rounds, possibly. But we do have a fresh crew, so there's no brothers in arms or anything like that. We can't have vents, which is a shame. I prefer having vents than anything else. But we are running coffee on it. So, yeah, let's go out and see if a game in the, uh, the S51 gives us some better results. Hmm. Serene Coast. Yeah. I like this map. This is fun. Two artillery on each side. Tier 8 game. Hmm. Yeah, we could be in with a good chance. Oh, we've got... We've got Wee Bert as well. Excellent stuff. That could be handy for over in the eastern flank. I think we'll start off trying to cover the C1 kind of B2 kind of area. Once we get loaded in, we'll start off with a high explosive round as well. I've only got two armour piercing rounds anyway, with a reload time as long as it is. Um, it's not ideal. Wow, that T71's pushed on up. It's a potential for him to spot us. Wow, everybody's gone. Everybody's gone this way. This is not this is not cool. What are you doing, people? Mm. Okay. This is IS2 doing. It's an IS5. That 271's gonna come up and give us a bit of a bugger in, I feel. Okay, so see if we can get yeah let's get moved don't knock over trees and here comes the T-71 we're still reloading so we've not got a chance in hell the only chance we've got is potentially to get a ram kill <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. And the ammo raptors. Yeah. So, that was a defeat. Yes. Managed to get a shot off. The beginning there. Nice, decent amount of splash. I was debating in the back of my mind. I was like, hmm, maybe we should have saved this shell for the uh, T-71. But we weren't to know, you know... The way things go, we managed to take out the remaining RT and they all kind of just sat and got taken out and then, weirdly, the other team capped. So, it's just bizarre. Um, obviously, we're going to have made a loss. Bugger all XP. So, yeah. Hmm. It's interesting, actually, because this KV-5 was one of the people that capped and he did zero damage. Fired one shot. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the way RT games go, though. So, you know. <laughs> right. We'll finish off in the uh, the Object 261. We might even have time for another game if it keeps going this way. Hey, so, yes. I've got a 10-7 loadout of HE and armor piercing. So let's go out and maybe we'll um, see if we can actually get some of these armor piercing rounds to to pen. Now this is interesting, Siegfried line. Uh, this is one of the matches where we were attacking as we are now and the scouts managed to crest that ridge while I was in the T uh, GW Tiger P and I hadn't even managed to move really from this spot very far before they spotted me and I got taken out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I kind of hope sometimes when this map comes up that I'm in a vehicle that's quick enough to bloody get away, you know. Uh, 
this is always the scariest part of this because if if they do crest that ridge early and get some spots in you have to make sure that you can get to a position where you're at a line of fire from tanks and the artillery aren't either aren't loaded or aren't aimed in in time and be able to judge the direction that you're headed in um, but I think we've managed to get lucky so I'll sit back over near this ridge start off we've got a high explosive round in the spout so we'll have a look see what kind of angles we can get there's an Indian Panzer down that way. Might be able to help out the Indian Panzer, possibly. He's wanting to sit very still, so let's um He's still sat still. And now he's dead. So there we are. Okay, there's a ball sig somewhere there that's cool he's sat very still as well it's a good thing that we've got a high explosive round up for him he uh, soft open topped excellent stuff get moved again it's a good thing with this reload time it's very handy just need to try and get some line of fire on some of the heavies that are in town so let's have a look there's a new 100 over this way yeah we can't quite get a shot on him from here we might be able to on the uh, VK Ooh. okay let's get an armor piercing round loaded Our next shot can be an AP round on one of these heavies, hey. So we'll let our team know that we're reloading. We aren't doing too well at the moment, team wise. Let's see if. Let's... Oh, don't move forward too much more. Okay, there he goes. That T-49 could be dangerous. So let's keep an eye on where the T-49 is. Now the T-95 knows that we're here. So after this shot, we're going to have to hightail it out. Let's... Rightio. Let's shimmy. We are far enough away that we shouldn't get spotted by these guys moving here. Let's hope that that T-49 doesn't come up our way. We'll do one more armour piercing round and the next one's going to be high explosive, just in case. Um, that T-49 decides to come up our way. Got a funny feeling that he's going to. Ah, oh, look, somebody loves us. Okay, what's going on here? So we can't quite get a shot on him. T69 might be able to just finish him off. Cool, it's good. Can we get some support for this tiger? Bugger, we can't. Might be able to get a shot on this VK though. Possibly. Oh no, he's turning back around. That's annoying. Lame. Okay, this lever. We might be able to get something on the lever. RT54 is not looking too hot at the minute. Shot away. Ah, oh, and it hit the building. We could have done without that. Not cool. T-54. Hmm. T-54 
254 is still alive. This guy's surrounded. Yeah, this is not cool. Come on, STI. Okay, let's see if we can help out these mediums then. Not too worried about the T92 at this point. It's not going to be too much help. Right, we need to get over and help these guys. Uh, where can we go? If we head over up north a little way, maybe we can get some cover and fire for this guy. Oh, we might be able to get something here. Let's stop. Pull back. Pull back, STI. Pull back. Hmm. No, I think he's going to cop it. We are right in an annoying spot here. Oh, really? What the hell? There goes our... Uh, T-54. Shot weight. And it hit the building. That's lame. All right. We're reloading. Let's see if we can get in. Please stay alive, T49. See if we can get aimed in somewhere. Rough. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, can we get aimed in in time for this guy? Right, we're in a bit of an awkward situation now. I think both of them are one shots, but if they come at us together, we're not going to be in good stead. So, we'll be lucky if we win this, but we'll give it a good go. Maybe we could surprise them and head into town. Yeah, that it's might be the way to go. Ah, we've been spotted. That's not cool. Where would they be? Come on, T92, you can hit us. It's a trap! Okay. So the T-92's missed. Excellent stuff. It's good. It's what we want. So there's only two more left. I'm not sure... Hmm, not sure where the VK is going to be. We've only got 1 minute 18 seconds left of the match. I've got a funny feeling we're going to lose just because we're going to run out of time. It's a trap! Okay, they see us. Ah, there we go. Good game. So, here's the results from that. As you saw, it was a defeat. The VK managed to finish us off in the end, so... Ah, never mind. But it was a good game. It was a good game. I, we wouldn't have had enough time left of that match to be able to get the VK and the uh, the T92. We just there was not enough time left. But that was really fun. I'm surprised that we lasted as long as we did, and we had some good shots. We managed 4,564 damage. So yeah, hmm. five kills as well. So, decent amount of XP, even for a loss. You know, for artillery, that's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame we couldn't pull that off. I think our, our team managed to, you know, kind of get a little bit screwed round. We couldn't really support that STI. I, I was a little bit annoyed about that. It would have been really nice if we could have gotten in and helped, helped him out. Maybe I should have typed to, to tell him to pull back a little bit so then we could have drawn 
the two enemy tanks forward and, and managed to get one of our shells in. But we had a few of the armour-piercing rounds work for us, which is the first time in like two patches that I've actually had armour-piercing rounds work. So there we are, ten shots fired, seven direct hits and seven penetrations. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we did make a loss, not too surprising though. We did fire quite a few shells and they are quite expensive. I think they're they're almost two grand a pop. So, hmm. Okie dokie. Well, we'll leave it there for this episode. Thank you for watching. That was fun, even with the strange derpy episodes uh, matches at the beginning there. So yes, hmm. Okie dokie. So till next time.